In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we will have competitors locked inside steel. Don't go away. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Oh, I cannot wait. Get ready to feel the buzz. It's buzz. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 224 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Walker. Earlier today, I noticed Buzz backstage checking out some vintage Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste because when it comes to in-ring ability, there weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude, a revamped appearance. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take. Steel cage action kicking off here, guys. Wow. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a Ouch. set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Picture perfect drop kick. Forearm smash. And now he goes for it a second time. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the Last Battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. Of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors.
And today we have the Asylum match where weapons are on top oh, of the man. cage. Just goes to show you that times may change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and Aftershock DDT. What does Buzz have in store? He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Just a remorseless assault on the neck. And a powerful forearm. And we're back to this form of attack. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. That has got to be it. Drew McIntyre really needs to dig down deep and fast. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. to the back now. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Incredible. Drew McIntyre really needs to dig down deep and fast. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. I assure you, you cannot miss a moment of Raw. You never know what will happen next. Buzz with a W! Wow, congratulations, Buzz. Oh boy, I can't believe that thing ended like that. Here's another look at a steel cage match for the ages. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, winner, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Strategy fell into place with that victory. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing.
Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.